Hey, how's it going? Can I care? Um, I've been playing Seven Days to Die for a while now, and I'm only just now getting around to making any videos about it. Uh, since the Alpha 20 update, uh, there have been a lot of great improvements in here uh, in terms of the types of blocks that you can use. Um, in fact, we go in here and take a look at them. Uh, instead of only having, a, you know, a dozen to play with, we now have, I believe it's something like 3,500 blocks that we can play with in here now to make stuff out of. Uh, you know, walkways, stairs, trim, windows, you know, destroyed stuff, furniture. All kinds of stuff you can play with in here now. Um, so, what I wanted to do was to go over making bases in existing buildings instead of going like out into the desert there or maybe here in the middle of the street. Uh, use an existing building that has pretty good potential for making a horde base while being able to live fairly nearby. So looking around here, we got Mo Power over here, Carl's Cars, we've got a Poppin' Pills, and uh, Shamway Foods over there. Uh, but none of these are really the reason I'm here. Uh, and I am out in the desert right now. Uh, this is the 8K map. Uh, Geno 8k. Uh, I spawned in over here, which would be about the middle of the map, and there is a town right here, but the place I'm looking for is not in that town. It's only located out here in the desert in the city here. And no, it is not Higashi Pharmaceuticals. It's actually that church right there. And let me show you why. This church is monstrous. Like, it is huge. You've got great potential for building in this thing. And right next door to it, you've got the vicarage. So you could live in this building, and your horde base could be in this one. Nice and close together. And what I was thinking was, go in here, and we'll make a way up to the roof. And then there's going to be a walkway that goes over and joins up with the church here. And there's a window over there that we can get in. And then a ledge that'll take us right along here, past all these windows. And right up there in the front is where I'm actually going to set up the horde base. In fact, it's going to be right there where that stained glass window is. So you've got multiple ways into this church, and we're just going to go fly around. So you've got the front door here, and then you've got a side entrance here with the wheelchair ramp. You know, for those zombies that have problems walking, they probably want to come this way. You've also got this large side entrance right here. The vicarage the door is locked, you might want to shore up these windows a little bit, and possibly that door. But you'd probably want to live up on the second floor. And then you've got the back door. So this is going to be your way in and out of the place. But you're not going to use this window, you're going to use the roof. And we're going to go right over to here. And we're going to go in that window. Or, now that I think about it, why do we need to go in that window? Uh, we could actually just bust our way through that window there because there is a ramp across there. And I think maybe that's what we'll do. Now, once we're in here, yes, there's a crate right there. So if you get on the roof, come over to either this window or this window, come over here, and you can jump over and get that crate. Now, this ledge here comes around and then there's a walkway, and then it continues over 
to that balcony over there. And there's our stained glass window. But the problem is these getting in your way when you're walking along this ledge. So that's why I'm thinking we'll just bust through this window and then we'll bust through this window, which will take us out here onto the roof. And then we can go over here through this window. And if we turn off the light, there we go. This is where the trap will be set is right here on this balcony. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to have to knock out about half of this stained glass window and part of this floor. It's unfortunate, but what do you do? So we've also got this blown out part of the ceiling and the wall on this side of the church. So they've got that way to come in too. But they've got lots of ways to get to us. But only, in reality, one way to get to us, which is right over there. There's a set of stairs that lead up to here. Now, they can't come up these stairs because they're broken behind us here, which is great for us. So, go over here and we take a look. And these stairs are broken here, but they can jump that gap. But... We don't really want it to be that hard for them, so we're going to fix these stairs. And then if we come down here, this is the second floor. And we've got some bookshelves, and there's that gap in the wall right there. And there's a hole in the floor here. Well, we're going to take out this bench, and we're going to take out this bookcase and these benches. And we're going to widen that gap a bit, and then we're going to make this gap to match that one. So they're going to fall through all the way down to the main floor there. Now we're going to leave this door open and we're actually going to leave this one closed. They're not going to be interested in that door anyway because we're going to be standing up there on the third floor. So come down these stairs, perfectly good stairs, and there's our front door. So this is going to be the main way in for them. So is that door and then those other two over here. So they're going to fall right here, but I don't like this pile of rubble here. It just gives them something to land on. It might cushion their fall, but we're going to get rid of this. And that clock has to go as well, because there's a possibility that when they fall from up there, that they could possibly get stopped on that. And then it doesn't do any damage to them. Not that falling on this floor does a lot of damage to them either. Like falling from that third floor to here doesn't really hurt them. So we're going to have to have something along here for them to run into that is going to hurt them before they go up those stairs. So this could basically be a an AFK horde base if you wanted to. So we're going to set it up that way. So I've got the super digger and the instant death pistol. Uh, the only reason I have the sniper rifle is because it's got an eight times scope on it that lets me look at far away things. So let's get rid of that. And then let's go up to the second floor here. And we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to get rid of these. And then we're going to get rid of a couple of blocks along here. There we go. Now we've got a nice big gap down there. There's nothing for them to land on down there. Uh, we need to get rid of the clock. And I should probably fill that hole in. We'll do that. And then we're going to get rid of a couple of blocks right there. So there we have it. That is the gap that they're going to fall through. And we're just going to close that. Now we need to get some blocks to build with. So the blocks we're going to be using, I'm just going to use wood. Um, and we're going to turn the dev blocks off here. I don't need those. Ah, maybe we do. Okay. 
So we're just going to use frame cubes. And then we need a half block. You want this one. The half cube. You don't want the half cube centered. Because these need to go along the outside. Because along with those, we are going to need a wedge. And the one we want is the wedge 60 tip here. And there's a reason for that one. And we're also going to need some stairs. Uh, let's get rid of that so I can. There we go. Uh, we're going to need some of those. And then in the catwalks, if we go down to the bottom here. Uh, I want some rails. And I also want a ladder. Yeah, you're going to need a ladder. Right here, we fix the stairs. There we go. So now, very clear path up to here. These stairs are broken, so, and they're not going to be interested in that anyway, because we're going to be standing right there. But we're going to get rid of this railing and that piece. And unfortunately, we need to bust up the stained glass window. And we need to take out about three rows of it and then we gotta take out these pieces all the way across there that's all we need to get rid of right there so the gap this is where the wedges come in and we want to use the advanced rotation because we want them facing a particular way and we want them facing like that along this side you want them facing with the flat side, the back up and slanting outwards. So we'll put three across here. And then on this side, we want it opposite. Oh, I went too far. All right. Let's go like that. There. Now we've got two rows going across here. And this actually works. And the reason for that is because this particular block, they see it as a full cube. They don't see it as a wedge block. So they think that this gap that we've left here is actually filled. And they try to walk across it. But they don't. They can't walk across it because... Oh, did that wrong. We're going to do this. We fill that space right there. And we need to fly. We're going to build this three blocks high. And that was a mistake, so we'll just get rid of that. And the reason for three blocks high is because when they come along to this point right here, they may bunch up a bit and then they'll jump on top of each other. And if this is only two blocks high, they can probably get up on top and walk across and get you. So I want some more wedges here. And we're going to put wedges right there, so then it funnels them in. And there, now they know where to go. So they're gonna come in here and they're just gonna funnel to this point. These are gonna funnel them right to here and then they fall down there. So we're gonna take some of these blocks and we're gonna put them across here. And this will, so if they do bunch up here and they jump on top of each other, they can't actually get up here on top and get across to us. They have no choice. They bunch up here, they either fall off the edge down to this floor or they wait their turn and fall down there. Now, I wanted railings 
for this side. And the reason I want railings is vultures. Uh, they're just annoying. I hate vultures. So we're going to put some railings right here. And we should turn on the advanced rotation. Oh, missed it. Ah, okay, we'll put it there. And right there. There we go. So now we're protected from vultures. But we don't have to worry about them flying in and attacking us from this side. The zombies can see us from there. That's not a problem. So, we'll be standing here on Horde Night. They're going to be coming up the stairs right there, falling through down to there. Now, I think I'm going to knock out that block and those two blocks. Oh, three blocks. There. So now we've got an easy way of getting in here. Vulture, Vulture still can't get us on Horde Night because, well, we'll close that door behind us. Oh, let's take out this window. And take out those two. And there's home right over there. But we'll come across here. And so now we need to build our bridge across here. So we're going to take the these blocks and we far out. Okay. Right there. Nope. Okay. So this is where we need to build right here. Now I can get rid of that one. And the room that we're going to come on up in is right over in this corner. So now we can come over, jump up on this, get to that roof, go across in that window, and then across to here, and across this roof into there, and we're in our horde base. Nice and protected in there from vultures and zombies, and they just come up here. So they come up those stairs and up those stairs. And down here, we actually need to put in some, I think it's in this one, nope, oh, maybe it's, it's in here somewhere, uh, it's in the, not in the traps, um, okay, it's in here somewhere. Not that. Nope. Huh. Okay. So is it in here? There it is. The barbed wire. So we're going to put some barbed wire along here. And this is going to oh i can't do that oh interesting this is going to keep them coming along here now i'm going to leave this gap right here so that they can come in from over there and then they've got a clear path here but i am going to block that and then we're going to put a couple more right so they're going to run into this on their way to the stairs before they go up there. That's going to be hurting them. Which is awesome. It's going to be about the only thing hurting them unless we decide to take shots at them from over there and shoot them there or down on the stairs here. Um, You know what? Let's put a couple more of these here just to discourage them and really drive them over here okay now 
Let's go work on our base. It's so close by. So, we come in the back door. We have the kitchen. The nice little kitchen, utilitarian. These are priests that live here, so, you know, they don't need a whole lot. Uh, let's take out that couch. It's kind of in the way. So is that. And that vase. Hey, we got a pass through into the kitchen now. Cool. So now we come up here. This is the room that I want to go up in. Oh, we'll just take this stuff out. I'm going to shoot out that and that. And then what we're going to do is put ladders in to the roof. So there we go. We now have ladder up to the roof. We build everything in here. And this is now home. And we can come over here. And run all the way across here. And Fortnite. And we pick them off as they come through that door, or we just sit back here and just wait for them to beat themselves up on the barbed wire down there and eventually die. But yeah. So, minimal amount of effort into this, really, because everything here is made of wood. Uh, eventually, as the horde knights get worse, you will want to upgrade uh, the wedges and these walls here to, you know, concrete or steel. Uh, these rails can stay as wood, so can those uh, blocks up there, but you may want to upgrade these two. And eventually, you put better traps down there, unless, you know, you want to keep the barbed wire there. Your choice. But there you go. So, Ford Base, home over there, right close by, easy to get to. And that is the first location uh, for an existing building that you can use as a Horde Base. It's going to take a little while to get out here and set this up. Uh, you got to find this city first, and then you got to find the church empty out the church, empty out the vicarage over there. Uh, but it shouldn't be too hard. You know, two or three zombies in the building over there. You might have to take out half a dozen in this one here. But, uh, yeah. That is it. So, hope you enjoyed that. And I'm going to go look for another place to make another base. So I'll see you later.